Okay, we're doing imaging of the humerus. We're doing it in the upright position. You're going to have the patient position with the back up against the image receptor. All right, for the AP projection, you're going to have the hand separated. And then your central ray is going to be mid humerus. Now, we are using a 14 by 17 or a 35 by 43 image receptor. Now, you can see I'm getting quite a bit of the chest included as well, so we can collimate on the sides a little bit, or you could turn the tube head like that so that you're getting less of the chest. So once you collimate, you do want to be sure that you have moved your marker. And one other adjustment is to make sure I do get the shoulder joint in there. Either have the patient relax the shoulder down because you want to see the upper border shadow on. Or you can raise the tube up just a little bit and then just raise the bucky up as well. But that's our AP projection. Okay, for the lateral, you can bend the arm so that the hand is resting on the abdomen. Okay, your central ray is still going to be at the mid humerus, but you want to double check and make sure you do see a shadow of the elbow and the shoulder on there because you do want both joints on the humerus, or for all long bones, you want to see both joints. Now another option is you can rotate the hand internally and just roll it all the way in and this brings the elbow laterally so the epicondyles are going perpendicular into the image receptor. So that, that's another option you can do for the lateral humerus.